U.S. stock index futures are slightly higher on Monday. A spike in oil prices helped offset concerns over a massive global cyber attack. Also, geopolitics do remain in the background. Now, oil hit a three-week high after top exporter Saudi Arabia, as well as Russia, supported the extension of OPEC-led supply cuts. And at the end of last week, U.S. indices closed mixed. Shares in the tech hardware equipment, utilities and semiconductor, as well as semiconductor equipment sectors pushed higher. Meanwhile, shares in the food and staples, as well as retailing, automobiles and components, consumer durables and apparel sectors were under pressure. And on the economic data front, CPI and retail sales in the U.S. for the latest month improved but came in below estimates. And the University of Michigan Sentiment Index rose to 97.7 in the preliminary estimate for May. As for your advancers and decliners, 69% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower on Friday. And in after-hours trade, Thermo Fisher Scientific announced it will acquire Apatheon, the Dutch maker of drug ingredients, at $35 per share in cash. Now, this transaction represents a purchase price of approximately $7.2 billion, including the assumption of approximately $2 billion of net debt. And looking at uh, Asia markets, uh, we are seeing nearly higher trading uh, with the Nikkei uh, nearly flat on the session, the Hang Seng gaining nearly 0.9% and South Korea's advancing, Kospi advancing 0.2%. European indices are flat today. And taking a look at the S&P 500, the bullish buy does stand above a 23 uh, 84. Now, trading such analysts prefer long positions above that level with targets at 23.97 and 2400 in extension. As for the Nasdaq, a continuation of the rebound is expected, and a rebound is expected for the Dow Industrials.